Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing okay. So I am totally feeling summertime here in Texas. It's like so hot outside and I'm starting to go to the lake and the weather is just beautiful. And um, yeah, so I'm starting to self tan. So I don't uh, go tanning in the sun at all. Like I'll put the highest amount of SPF sunscreen. I don't want to get wrinkles, so I do a self tanning routine at home. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm tan. So I'll just be showing you what I use and um, before and after, so you can see the color of the tanner. So I use the Loving Tan Two Hour Express uh, Bronzing Mousse. This is in the dark shade, and I use it together with their um, applicator mitt. I love how this color turns out. I really feel like this looks better than an actual tan on me, so. And I don't tan really good either. I just get red and then my skin just peels. It's just, it doesn't look good. This, like, looks the best on me, so I'm gonna be using this all summer. So basically, it's super easy. I take a shower, I shave, and then I exfoliate. Lately, I've been using this exfoliator mitt. Um, this is called uh, Sosu. I don't know, but really happy with it. So basically, I put um, soap on it and just exfoliate in a circular motion with warm water, and then it leaves my skin so smooth and um, it takes off all the dead skin and also if I have, I still have a fake tan on from last time, then it will take it off. So it's very important to exfoliate before. And after I exfoliate, I wait at least three hours till I put the tanning mousse on. So usually I just wake up in the morning and do all of it. And then in the evening before I go to sleep, I'll put on my tanning mousse. But sometimes if I don't feel like doing it before I go to sleep, I will um, take a shower, exfoliate, shave everything in the morning. And then I'll wait three hours and then I will uh, uh, self tan, which is what I did yesterday. Basically, you're supposed to wait a couple hours before you self tan after you exfoliate. Um, yeah, if you want, if you want, like, if you want it to work the best. But after I take a shower and exfoliate and everything, I'll just like wash myself with cold water for like a minute, get out, and then uh, a couple hours later, I'll self tan. So after that, I use my Loving Tan tanning mousse and the Loving Tan applicating mitt. And um, the first thing I do is I moisturize my elbows, my hands, my feet, um, and my knees. And also I put moisturizer like here and in like my armpits. <laughs> I use the this one, Nivea. It says um, the one with the shea butter. I've been using this like all my life. So I use this also when I self tan. And when I tan, I make sure every place that I put the moisturizer on, I don't apply a lot of product. And then I just rub it on in a circular motion. So I usually start with my legs. So I'll just um, put it on in a circular motion. So when I get around the knees, and the feet, I don't apply more product. I just use whatever is left and I apply it. And of course I'm talking about like the top of my feet, not where, not the bottom. So after I get my legs done, I apply the front part of my body, my stomach, my chest, I do my neck. Um, I personally don't like to put this um, body tanner on my face. Um, if I go on a vacation, then I'll just put a little bit on a, uh, foundation brush and buff it in my face. But on a day-to-day -day basis, when I uh, tan, then I don't put it on my face because I have lots of like creams I use before I go to sleep. I like to feel like I don't have anything on my face. And um, also, I have a BB cream that I put on my face every day, which is like a tinted moisturizer or a tinted sunscreen that I use every day. And I take it off before I go to sleep. So anyways, if I wash my face and exfoliate, then it takes off my tanner anyways. So I just use the tanner on my body and I just use a BB cream on my face. So that's what I have right now. And you see it like works out for me. I just put the tanner up um, 
up until my jawline. So my neck and my jawline, everything, I have the tanner and then I leave my face with nothing. That's what I do now. Unless, of course, but, but when I do go on a vacation, sometimes I want to look really bronze and stuff, so I'll, I'll also put the tanner, but usually I just do my body. So we got the chest, we got the neck, and then I do my back, back part of my body. Um, it would have been easier if I had somebody do it for me, but I live by myself, so I do it by myself. You just need patience, so. I do, yeah, so I go like, so I do my back and here and it takes me, it takes me a while and I have to be patient and then I always have to look at it or all over my body. Sometimes I see like a streak, I'll look at it and I'll be like, uh, so I have to, I have to uh, put more on or rub it around more. Just like, even when I'm done, I'll just like look at myself in the mirror and just look for places where it's uneven or that I miss some spots and I really take my time and yeah, you need some patience for that if you want it to look perfect. So I think my tan uh, looks really good. Like everything feels even. Um, yeah, so then I go to my arms and hands, basically. I'll just uh, put some on, rub it all around, and then with the product I have left, I'll just put it on my elbows and also on the front of my hands. So when you do your arms, you start on the top and then you take whatever is left to the bottom. So I just make sure I get everything, my shoulders, everything, just look around, see I'm not missing a spot. And the trickiest, well, everybody knows this is the trickiest, is the hands. I'm not perfect at it, but I think it's pretty good. Not perfect, but hands are like the tricky thing. So you always need to make sure you have a lot of moisturizer on your hands. And at the very end, I like to take a foundation brush and put a tiny bit of product. And I like to buff it into uh, my hands, between my fingers. And I also do the same thing to uh, my feet. I make sure that I don't put any at all on my palms, like never. See, never get it on my palms. And also I like to take uh, wipes, like wet wipes and just make sure I don't have any on my hands and just wipe them off my palms. Sometimes if they get on my nail polish, I'll take them, I'll take it out. But yeah, so basically I don't put very much product on my hands. And yeah, so after that, I wait about five minutes, then I get dressed. Um, the tanner says to wait two hours before you wash it off, but I either go to sleep with it and take it off in the morning or if I tan in the morning, I'll just uh, be with it all day and I'll take a shower before I go to sleep. So I use it more than two hours. I just prefer to do that, just like to make sure <laughs> that um, I get a good tan, but technically you could wash it off after two hours and it should work fine. So if I go to sleep with it, I will wear loose, long sleeve, dark colored PJs because I don't want to stain my sheets. Uh, my sheets are white, so. That's what I wear when I go to sleep. And if I tan in the morning, then I'll just change into like a loose, short uh, dress and wear flip flops. And of course, before I take it off, I try not to sweat or go to the gym or get wet. Um, well, I try not to. Uh, my hands never come out perfect because I end up like washing them and doing stuff and then I like took the tan totally off and then I and then I try to like cheat and then just apply a tiny bit more and then I take it off and then I, I wash my hands again and it comes off like that's why I prefer to do it before I go to sleep so but overall they look fine after that I get into the shower and I wash it off only with water with no soap so and after that I put just my moisturizer, I put it all over my body, and yeah, so that also lengthens the tan. And then the showers after that, then I just use soap. But also, I don't scrub so hard, I don't wanna get my tan off, so. Yeah, so um, that's basically it. So this is the before and after. I use the two hour express in the shade dark. Yeah, so I'm all ready for summer now. I got my got my tan and thank you so much for watching and I hope this information was helpful for you. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.